Hello Elevators! Welcome back to my channel! You guys, because of you guys, last night I made a thousand subscribers, well not I made, I I got a thousand subscribers because of you guys last night and I'm so stoked, I'm so excited, I am living, we slayed and um, yeah, I guess this coronavirus quarantine is working out for me honey because I am growing my channel and I'm really excited so um but no seriously I just want to say thank you thank you thank you so much to you guys it's because of you guys that my channel is growing and you guys are loving it and I'm really excited that you guys like my content and I appreciate you guys we're doing this together so um, today is St. Patrick's Day. I'm wearing green. I've been rocking my green nails all week because the Persian New Year is also at the end of this week, which is kind of going to suck because there's not going to be any celebration or we, we can't really go anywhere and do anything fun because of the quarantine and the social distancing and all that stuff. So I'm kind of bummed out about that, but whatever, our health and the health of uh, the elderly and all the people that are not in the best of health is more important than anything you know so we are hence staying at home and that's why I'm doing all this video for you guys and so what I want to do today is something a little bit different I, I since I'm doing this and uh, oh before I get into it let me just say this before I get into the video for the day so I know a lot of you guys are being so sweet and telling me, oh my God, you should charge and you just do these lives and you do these readings and stuff. And I know what you guys are saying and I, and I want to do that. But right now, I just want to grow my channel. And, and uh, but for private coaching, life coaching, uh, spiritual consultation, readings, all that stuff is available. I'm going to link everything down below. You can uh, pay through PayPal or Zelle. Um, and if you want to make a donation to my channel because I'm so awesome and I do all these free readings, you can also do that by uh, paying um, through PayPal or Zelle again. So I'm going to link everything down below, but I am available for private readings. I do spiritual consultation. Um, I do life coaching, which is about like, you know, motivational speaking and things like that about like how to get your life to where you want to go um you know health um uh work finances all of that so uh i'm like a one stop shop i guess um so yeah i wanted to just say that i do do all that um privately so if, you, if anyone is interested, you guys can get in touch with me for that. Uh, but when uh, my channel gets approved for monetization, then I can do super chat. I want to do super chat, then I can charge for readings and stuff like that. So that is coming up. And happy Sa uh, St. Patrick's Day. Oh my God. It's like all the bars are closed. All the restaurants are closed. It's such a bummer. But so I wanted to do something different today for you guys. I want to um, have my cards. So my cards are right here. My cards are right here, staged and ready to go. They're always here to work. Um, but I want to do something a little different today. I want to um, tune in and see what I can get. Because yesterday was so neat when I tapped into Selena and... Um, I was able to pick up on her on her health and it was really interesting because some of you guys that are also empaths like me said that you guys feel the same way when you listen to her music i feel the same way when i listen to her music it makes me just super 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 like low vibrational sad sick like uh i feel for her so much so and so, and then one person said that um that she has lupus and that those are the symptoms I guess that I was experiencing yesterday like you feel like you're gonna you know vomit and you feel hot and you just don't you feel dizzy and literally those were all the symptoms that I was picking up yesterday so it kind of gave me an idea to sit here and try to see if I can tap in to Haley Baldwin what I want to do is tap into her energy and see what's coming to me and then I'll pull some cards out to see if 
my intuition if we get confirmation about what I'm picking up. So that's what I want to do. So I'm super hyper. You guys were saying I, you guys love that. I know I'm super hype, hyper and I'm fiery and I'm crazy and I love it. This is how I live just on up here. So, but uh, I want to calm it down a little bit in this video and just try to tune in. So just kind of breathe and align myself because I just want to tap into this girl and see what she's all about and what's up with her because she's shady as fuck, as we all know. And it's a mutual thing. Everyone feels the same way about her. And the other thing is like, I don't pick sides. I do energy and uh, it's a, a unanimous thing. Like everyone that picks up on her feels the same way. Um, and you know, we are all connected spiritually. We're all connected. And the other thing that I wanted to uh, touch on before I get into the video is a lot of you guys are like, wow, you know, you, your readings are spot on with the, these other readers on YouTube. And I just want to say that as a reader, as a psychic, as an empath, as a medium, whatever, we all have the ability to tap into this energy field that's around where it carries all the information because energy carries information and we tap into it so obviously we're going to pick up the same thing and that's why we all have very similar readings because we're tapping into the energy field of that person so obviously it's going to be the same thing and uh and it and it's great to hear that because it's confirmation for readers that we are picking up the right you know we are picking up the correct information so the other thing I wanted to say was that this reminded me of the Meghan Markle situation. So I remember when I was on YouTube, like watching all those videos and stuff, I live on YouTube. I mean, I have learned everything on YouTube, like how to do my makeup, how to do my hair, all that stuff. So I'm very, very much YouTube like influenced. But I remember a lot of, um, uh, readers were saying unanimously the same thing about Meghan Markle. They were like, she's bad news. They saw her create a conflict between the brothers, um, uh, create mayhem with the monarchy and all of that. And um, they all were seeing the same thing. They were all saying the same thing that she is gonna, you know, the, that, the, that the marriage was gonna go through, that Princess Diana's spirit was not happy that Prince Harry was doing this and um, that sh they are gonna get married, they are gonna have kids, but their relationship is not gonna last because of what her sociopathic narcissism is going to continue doing to the monarchy and to Prince Harry. So it's really interesting that all the readers saw the same thing and as now, as we can see now, two years forward, that they were all right. And I did not have a YouTube channel back then, otherwise I would have been tapping into the same shit as everyone else was Meghan Markle is like a species of, of on her on her own it's just, just cra it's crazy her energy is crazy uh so anyway so that's what I want to do today so I'm going to start I'm going to calm myself down a little bit and tune into Haley because uh I want to see uh what I picked up on her yesterday um if it's true and I'm about to sneeze, oh my God, I hope I don't have the coronavirus. <clears throat> it just stopped. Do you want to come out or do you want to stay? What's up? So I want to tune into her. So here we go. I just want to start like really honing my gift, you know? Um, so thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. I want to tap into... Haley Baldwin, Haley Baldwin, Haley Baldwin, Haley Baldwin. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. <sighs> so I'm picking up from her that she's anxious or restless. Kind of makes sense. They're stuck at home. Um, I feel like Justin is looking at the current situation as like, hmm, what, do, what about if we try to get pregnant? Because this is the perfect time. Her, his tour is postponed. He's not going to be performing. Um, the 
the quarantine and the virus and uh, national emergency, all that stuff. So everyone's stuck at home. And he's like, what about if we just try to get pregnant? And I think they're actually actively trying to get pregnant right now, like physically are really, they're really doing it uh, with the hope of her getting pregnant. But when I tap into her, I, uh, not only that I see her not being healthy enough to do it, she, uh, obsessively excessively exercises because she wants to stay super super skinny and she doesn't eat and i have to tell you guys something about celebrities because i'm around them all the time i work on different shows and different studios what they do is they, they get a, a cup of coffee in their hand and there's craft service and there's catering and every five minutes there's like tables and tables and tables of food everywhere right um and you never see them at craft service. You don't. Ne you never see them eating uh, at catering when it's lunchtime or dinner time or whatever. They walk around with a cup of coffee. Sometimes it's a cup of coffee and a cigarette. So Haley is always shot with coffee, giant things of coffee. And what they do is like they don't drink the coffee, okay, in order to stay skinny. They sip it. They sip it to suppress their appetite and to just kind of, you know, that's kind of the, the meal of the day and then maybe they'll have like a carrot like I'm not even exaggerating so she's not healthy to, to get pregnant at all and she exercises really excessively and she's a Sagittarius and she reminds me of one of my best friends that is a Sag she also is very very obsessive and obsessive compulsive she would not eat she would only drink coffee she would do tons of black magic on her boyfriend with the guy that she liked he was not her boyfriend at the time and I, he never became her boyfriend. And I watched her spend thousands of dollars with this lady in New Orleans to do black magic on him because he would just come over and sleep with her. So uh, Sagittarius have a tendency to get very obsessive, uh, uh, obsessive, compulsive kind of a thing. And they're close to Scorpio. So it's kind of like it's in their chart. So she Haley very much reminds me of the Sagittarius friends that I do know they become super obsessed they're really kind of like free and fun loving and stuff and everything rolls off their back but then when they like someone or they they're into something they get super obsessive also Brad Pitt he's a Sagittarius he gets super super obsessed with a person then he jumps to the other actress and he just like jumps around from people to people um so Haley's energy Haley's energy you guys when i tune into her i get absolutely no feeling like it's almost like it's like a wall i have i get no feelings about her one way or another she's very neutral um she's very self-involved um i want to see if my intuition about her is right because i feel like she's going to fake um a miscarriage like she's going to pretend like she was pregnant to Justin but then like show her period to him as in like she had a miscarriage and do this whole like overblown acting thing like crying and the whole thing like she had a miscarriage and I just see her doing that so I want to ask the cards I want to ask the cards to see if my intuition is right so that's her they are in a relationship money 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 that always comes up for her uh five of cups that's the third card and the final card unhappy bored just not excited about life so very interesting she got what she wanted she has the money but she's not happy and she's bored as fuck so um I am telling you guys, I feel like Haley is beginning to kind of like reality is kind of setting in for her. Like she was so obsessed with Justin. She wanted to get so badly. She wanted him. To marry her and she wants the money and she wants the fame and all of that. But inside she knows Justin doesn't love her. She knows it's a very physical relationship. It's a very sexual, physical relationship, but it's not emotional. Like he does not love her the same way. He does not like love her on that level of like 
carrying on for 10 years like he did with Selena. So I think she knows all of that. And I think that um, she is beginning to see. She is beginning to feel it. Like she can feel it, you guys. Everyone is intuitive on a level, on to some level. We are all connected. We all have the ability to tap in, to have that sixth sense. So you don't have to be a psychic by profession to figure this shit out. Like she knows <clears throat> that Justin is still very much in love with Selena, <clears throat> and she'll never have the same love that he has for Selena. And I think it's taking a toll on her. I think it's taking a toll on her. And plus. <clears throat> dealing with a man child 24 <clears> 7 <throat> oh my god i hope i'm not getting the coronavirus <clears throat> i've literally been at home i'm not even going anywhere so yeah i she's not happy the cards are showing it that's what i'm picking up from her um so yeah what else am i going to pick up from her let's see this is really neat i'm really loving doing this because i think that after I, what I felt for Selena yesterday, it just kind of gave me an idea to kind of start doing that. And then also get confirmation from the cards. So, Haley Baldwin, Haley Baldwin. I just see her obsessing about clothes and like going in her closet and like, playing dress up like I see her actually like laying her shit out like she lays out her outfit of the day and then puts it on and like does a selfie or whatever without publishing it and then she's like oh yeah this looks good and then she goes out to get a cup of coffee or get lunch or go to the gym or whatever fuck she does she's like that like obsessed with like her routine of like looking amazing and someone did say to me like she used to be kind of average looking like no one really knew who the fuck she was and she's like a nobody and she's like not was not that attractive and she has like her hair is like to here and and when justin and her got together uh when he left selena uh justin was still really attractive and he looked really good and then uh Haley was just like whatever and now as the time is going by justin is looking super horrible and homeless looking and Haley is just getting super beautiful and um those are all signs of magic it's almost like she's sucking the energy out of him like give me your beauty give me your energy you know your fan baits your money your all that energy that J justin has created for himself she's like an energy vampire and she's just sucking sucking it out of him I love Angelina Jolie like I am obsessed with her like I want to look like her I'm obsessed with her I think she's amazing but I feel like Angelina kind of did the same thing to Brad like Brad just got like like the life got sucked out of him by Angelina and uh, <laughs> it's just really funny to see that because some people when the energy is not compatible uh, it with a, it, like in a couple situation one person kind of takes over energetically and just sucks the life out of the other person It happens all the time. It's really an interesting thing even if you're not doing magic because everything is energy so that's what I'm picking up on her and um, Yeah, she's just like wants to be pretty and is just doing it You know dressing up and just trying to look the best of her ability and get getting tons of work done uh, She's getting tons of work done to her face and um, she gets, she's getting injections and lips and she did things for her. I mean, all these like Kendall Jenner and all these people, Bella Hadid, they're doing these like these things where uh, they do the surgical threading, eyebrow threading or whatever. What it does is like it does this look for them. It like pulls, it's not Botox. It does this thing where they actually like the, the, the doctor and it's like in, it's like they can do this in the office there's no downtime they put a thread and so they pull the eyebrows like this so everything is like snatched and pulled back so um that's why they all look like this that's why all these models look like that um and then they get the cheeks and then they get the lips and they look snatched and i'm not hating on that shit if i had the money i would totally do the same fucking sh shit myself but I'm just saying she's definitely doing getting stuff done. She is using the money and the fame and the 
the association and just getting snatched, you know? So, um, that's what I'm picking up from her. She is not involved with Justin at all. She's just all self-involved and just wants to, um, you know, just, she wants the kind of life that the, the Kardashian Jenners have. So, and she's going after it and she's doing it. So, this was really cool. I wanted to tap into her and it's so interesting because you guys, when I, when I, Tapping into her right now, I just feel like she's this empty shell and there's like not much to say. She loves clothes, she loves herself, and she's obsessed with Justin, not for the right reasons, and she's obsessed with herself. So she's way too unhealthy to conceive a child. She's way too obsessed with her body to want to get pregnant and get fat and that's not what her, that's not what her mind is so yeah that was um i wanted to do that 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 was really interesting because it's just like not much to say anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video um it's going to be interesting i'm going to do more videos like this to see if i can just tap in energetically and kind of practice my empathetic and like my remote viewing remote viewing is when psychics are able to see uh, you know tap into people like that are like across the world or whatever and I wanted to kind of just practice that for you guys I thought it would be a fun video to do anyways I want to say thank you guys I love you guys hashtag alienators I love it thank you so much you guys are slaying with all the messages and all the new subscribers and returning subscribers and the viewers and all the engagements I love it you guys thank you so much I'm gonna try to do a live today we'll see um, <clears throat> just be safe wash your hands don't go anywhere let's just stay in for the next two weeks uh, hopefully this virus is gonna die uh, meanwhile i'll try to do my videos daily for you guys to give you guys some love and um motivation and just like lift you guys up don't be sad we're gonna work through all this all the problems that we're having i think it's going to be okay and yeah if you guys want to get in contact with me for private readings or whatever everything is um going to be put down below so be good you guys i love you guys hashtag alienators until we see each other be good and protect yourselves bye